My friends, this is something I'm almost ashamed to show you, but I'm going to show you anyway because I'm going to do a video about a new setup I'm going to have to arrange my workspace. I have kind of a hectic life. I have a day job where I'm a digital media manager for a healthcare system where I do healthcare related videos and work on websites and any other communications they need me to do. Then I have a almost a equally uh, involved freelance business where I do digital video and a lot of websites and sometimes print design. And this is my home workstation where I do my YouTube videos and all my uh, freelance work and very often work uh, for the hospital system. And it's just terrible. It's an absolute mess and it's not gotten any better over the years. I've just kind of stuff's just been added and added and added. You can see with what a tangled mess that I have here. This table is an old a uh, kitchen table that we had, it actually has a third leaf that goes in it and it becomes a much larger table. Uh, this used to be in our, not kitchen table, but our dining room. We bought it at Sam's Club. Gosh, I first bought the house back in 2010. And there are actually four chairs with it, not just those two that we never use out here. I just kind of adopted it when we realized that we ate most of the time in the, in the living room or the bedroom or whatever. But that's not a very efficient table to do uh, the kind of work that I do on. So what I've done, I've bought this table, which is a stand-up table, and then I've bought another one, or it's a desk, that's, that can tuck underneath it. So this is going to be kind of odd what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the, the uh, rearranging that I'm going to do. One of the things I want to try to incorporate is I've got this little Bose roommate speaker from good gosh all the way back in like 1987 or 88. <laughs> and I use these as monitors for my Mac. But I have these awesome Behringer uh, Truth monitors that I got back probably about 2007. And I love these monitors. So that's going to be my studio monitors. I don't use the PC hardly anymore. I became, I transitioned over to Mac about 2016. Started out as a Mac guy. Went to PC for a long time. So I've got a, was a very powerful PC here. I just use it occasionally. And I use the Macs almost all the time. I have three iMacs. And that's an LG uh, second monitor there, but this, like I say, this is just a total mess. And I don't know how to manage all of it. I've got um, Fender, uh, you know, I've got amps, my Ampeg. I don't, yeah, I don't play bass a whole lot anymore. I used to play a lot in church. One of the things I might do is transition, move that out. With the new setup, maybe I'll be able to use some of my keyboards again. I do play keyboards, just I'm just known for guitar and enjoy playing guitar more than anything. It's just a place to store some drives. Over the years, I probably have 50 drives like that full of projects. Those are just the most recent ones. I have the little uh, Hadeen uh, fretless bass there. I've done some videos of it. I have been storing my uh, other amps. I've got the Katana on the bottom right now, VT40X there. And then you can see I've got the little other amps here on the little stands. These are the ones I use more than, more than anything because they're just so convenient and simple. I've got a, actually got a uh, Line 6 Helix under that towel there. <laughs> so I don't know how this is all going to shake out, but I know one thing. That's a rat's nest of a mess right there. So we're going to put all this together and we'll see how it looks. So I'm very much in the process of just moving everything over and out. Uh, Nikki suggested I move that table that was over here over to here and uh, so <laughs> making some progress and vacuuming the floor up so this desk i'm going to put together it's a stand-up desk it's called the transon desk 55 inch uh, you can find it on amazon I'll maybe i'll put a link in the description okay so here's not such a glowing review of the uh zen desk whatever transon desk this piece here is step two uh, this is not cut to fit on these little notches here like, like it's supposed to. You get it on one but not the other. It's about a millimeter and a half. These two holes are, are too close. So I'm going to have to take a Dremel tool and grind off this little lip here. I've been trying to do it with the file but not making much progress. So I'm going to have to do that before I can do step two of putting this desk together. Not such great quality control, guys. Maybe end up being an awesome desk, but uh, yeah, you get to step two and that's not working for me. Okay, I will say it took a significant amount of dremeling to be able to make the whole fit and that thing go on. So I finally got the cross piece on, not uh, screwed it on yet, but yeah, thank the Lord that I had a tool like that. 
I wore a couple of those little bits out, drilling it out, but probably drill at least a full millimeter, millimeter and a half off of it so that I could put that bar on. Crazy. So friends, you tell me if I have traded one big mess for another one. <laughs> one thing I know is everything is a lot more organized than it was. Uh, there's no less stuff out here now. Everything that was here before was is uh, still here. There's the rack of kind of my most used guitars. And I moved all the PC stuff over here and got my keyboards out. It's been a while since I've played keyboards, but I love playing keyboards. And it's just been inconvenient the way everything was laid out for me to do it. So I got all those out. And I built a shelf underneath here, as you can see. It goes all the way across on this to get everything up off the ground. So I've got all my old toolboxes and stuff. There's a lot of stuff in there, electronic stuff, pedals and stuff that they use, cords and stuff they use now and again, adapters, but don't always need that. This is the layout with the, uh, what, the, the Zen type desk. That's the one, that's the top one, the one behind with the, the Macs and the monitors and stuff on it. I raised it up, you know, so it would bring everything up kind of where I could get to look up, not particularly down at it. And then this other desk is another one that I, I bought that I, you know, checked the dimensions online and it would fit underneath the other one. So I made myself a tiered setup here. And I like it, it sits really good. I don't know why I keep that cup holder on there. I'd rather a lot of times just keep my cup up, something like that. I don't, I'm not one of those people that puts a koozie in a, you know, drinking a koozie and does that. <clears throat> Still got some storage here. I got these little shelves that's under the LT25 fender. Um, I got these at Big Lots not too long ago. And there's little baskets and I put cables and stuff in there so they don't lay around on the floor. Of course, I have some laid on top of the amp right now. I need to straighten it up. I got, again, the Behringer B or Behringer Truth monitors are just awesome. And these are old. These are from like, I think seriously, 2007 was when I got those. And uh, I've got them hooked up now and they sound absolutely great. The best audio uh, experience that I've had in a long time here. Move the chair back out of the way. Uh, there's the Washburn, what, HB35S. These are uh, the amps that I use the most when I'm just farting around out in the studio. I use that one a lot. That's the Fender Mustang GTX 100. I love the looper pedal on it and I love all the sounds I've got. Uh, when I'm playing bass, which is not super often, uh, but occasionally, I like to have a nice bass amp, and that Ampeg's always been one of my favorites. I've got a little old Fox VT20X, and I've got a 40X over here that I use when I play out. I've also got a Katana that's back behind me. But I've really been just enjoying playing these amps here lately. So everything's, I do think, more organized and tighter and better put together than it was before. I do have more open space here. I'm able to get the Helix out and start working. Honestly, I've messed around a lot with the Helix, but not to the extent where I feel like I've mastered it yet. Still a whole lot I've got to, to learn. To I haven't put the latest firmware on there, so I've got to do some more with the Helix and get better at it because I have a Variax over here. That's the third guitar in. And I love playing that now. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm not ever going to get everything I want out of that until I learn that and vice versa. The very X and the and uh, the Helix were that was sort of my treat to myself this year. I had a really good freelance uh, month and bought myself those. And I do just this is a cheap keyboard here, but I love this MX49 from Yamaha. I've had it for gosh five or six years now. And it's just a great little old uh, keyboard. And over here, I do have the other amps that I use on occasion, depending on where I'm playing out. Like I say, the 40X is great if I'm playing an acoustic thing in that Acoustasani camp from all the way back, probably 2005 or so. It's one of my favorites, and I have an, an older uh, Fender back there behind me. I uh, can't remember, it's, it's, it's not a, a, a tube, it's a solid state. I'm trying to remember what it is. Crazy, I can't remember. And I've got the Katani inside the one on top. So yeah, that is sort of the new studio layout. And the thing that that allows me to do is go back to the way I used to shoot videos. The perspective people have seen from a long time ago was uh, shooting back, be turned around, shoot back behind me. It's kind of a mess back there right now. I'll be straightening that up. But most people remember seeing me, and that was the background that they saw, not the uh, 
what they've been seeing, which was me sitting here on a Mac, which wasn't very efficient. And then that rack of uh, hard drives and stuff behind me. So I do have a lot straightening up to do, but this is the new layout and kind of like it. Hopefully y'all enjoy it too, <laughs> seeing it. This is, you're gonna see, like I say, more of the old classic Tony Glenn, Tony Lee Glenn look, shooting back the other direction. Peace to everyone who watches any of the videos. Again, thanks for watching. This is just a silly one I decided to throw out real quick. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like. Thanks.